Hey guys, today I am going to talk about people stealing magic cards and the why that's increasing. It should be pretty obvious that Magic the Gathering now is more and more expensive with the VIP box. Uh, this is actually being sold by Walmart, not a third party. Um, does the Walmart carry VIP boxes? Probably not. Uh, does Is it going to carry double masters yes based on the history of it carrying every other masters i don't see it not carrying double masters given the price point uh, now at the walmart end or at walgreens or so on they create a two-pack um, gamestop probably will carry this product as well walgreens target my mailer uh, I, I don't have one of those down here but they are up north i believe so yeah, this is going to be a product that you will see at your Target and Walmart. Um, even beyond this product, they are, they are very expensive products at the stores now because Magic the Gathering is no longer this cheap game of $4 a pack or... You know, it's expensive. And the more expensive the game gets, the more people will try to steal. And that is just a natural habit. I mean, you guys know Magic players, I know Magic players. Um, there are many, many times where I wish this was not true, where people at your local game store will steal from you. Uh, when I owned a local game store, uh, I always had the problem with employees. And I haven't really talked too much about this because it's, you know, it's a kind of a touchy issue. But when I was doing the financials, um, so out of 12 months of rent, uh, we had 10 months of activity in that 10 months of activity, we had one month where we made profit and one month where we basically broke even. So I would say we had two months out of the 10 months. I mean, the, the first month you have to forgo because that you're just open and you're doing a lot of, um, what is it called? I forgot its name again, but you're, de re you're essentially redecorating everything. I'll build out. It's called a build out. Uh, one of the uh, crazy things about owning a store was when I was running the numbers with my CPA, I thought that we reached profitability in month six. But the reason that we really didn't um, was because I think we had employees and we definitely had not customers, right? We definitely had people come in and steal merchandise from my little store. And that's very, very crazy because your margins are not very high anyway so for people to come to steal magic cards from you i mean it's pretty devastating i'm not gonna lie that is the main reason i decided not to i mean our last month we were profitable our last non-covid month we did make money uh for just that month uh and it looked like we were doing really well now obviously covid changes things so i'm sure that we would not have made money during COVID, I'm 100% sure of that fact. But at the same time, had COVID not happened, maybe we continue, but it took a lot longer. Now, as you may know, uh, the packs I buy are Walmart packs. They're blister packs. They're these two packs. Um, you've seen it open on the channel. And yeah, shoplifting is a huge. I was talking to my distributor um, because I was very concerned on my Pokemon channel. I actually, I do have a Pokemon channel. I was, um, one time I bought a hundred packs and it was clear for me that the packs were resealed. Did I get a refund? No, I didn't get a refund. I didn't, um, because again, it's hard. It, like all of this stuff is like really difficult to prove once you buy it. Um, I mean... Yeah, it's hard. Um, it, it's very, very difficult. Like, So I bought all these packs from the distributor and then the distributor um, did not know. Uh, they were carefully resealed. So someone had purchased these packs and then returned them to Walmart. And you see this every time that you go to Walmart. You will see like, oh, the commander deck doesn't have the right commander on it. It's because someone bought the commander deck and then went home, put a planes in front of it. Uh, I mean, they didn't, they didn't even, like, they could have took every card but the commander deck. Um, and then uh, it gets repackaged and re-put back on these shelves. But now if it doesn't sell, then that 
item goes to you know distributors to distributor who then has to sell it in you know a wholesale if you will so that's what happens with a magic product and i was burnt to a crisp on a hundred i think unbroken bonds was the pokemon set and because i purchased them from walmart they didn't have any codes every pokemon booster pack has a code and i only i can only imagine how many times that happens to walmart or in many cases, you know, a person just walks out and steals $400 of uh, magic cards or Pokemon cards. This is not unheard of, obviously, as I'm showing you images right now. And these are just the people who get caught. So again, you know, people who get caught, um, it's the old adage, right? Where um, it's the old uh adage of the grocery store owner catches his employee for the last 20 years stealing and he's trying to deal with the idea of firing this employee but he's thinking oh this employee has been so loyal to me for 10 15 years and i've never caught this person stealing before and then his wife tells him you have to fire this person because he's probably stolen a hundred times from you for every time that you get caught stealing who for every time you get caught, how many times did you actually steal, right? So um, in my opinion, that's currently what's happening right now. Um, it's kind of a, a, a tricky, the more expensive Magic the Gathering gets, the more people will steal. Um, I, that's just fact. Um, that, that you don't need to argue that. I can tell you that is 100% fact. The more people steal, um, the more they're going to want to steal. Uh, that's just how they act and behave. Um, I mean, they're not. These are not little kids we're talking about. I could understand if it's a little kid and they don't know better. Like, these are like grown-ups. Like you're seeing this image here. These are full adults who are trying their best to steal, and you know, they're trying their best to. Um, I mean, it is quite. It's almost embarrassing, if you will, um, in terms of these are grown-ups. These are people who it's sad that that's what's happening right now is that people are and you might say, oh, Walmart is evil and Walmart, you know, does this and that and oh, bad Walmart, bad Walmart. But at the end of the day, it's stealing is still stealing, right? I mean, I, I don't know how else to put it except that the fact that um, it's not right, even if it is against Walmart, and even if Walmart, you hate Walmart with all your uh, passion, right? You, you just hate it. Um, it's still not right uh, to do that. But yeah, I was a victim, and that's, you know, I really don't talk about this quite as often as I should um, because how should I say it like um, I don't talk about it as often as I should because it's kind of a sore topic if you will um, it's one of these things where you know I don't want to really um, discuss it because there's employees involved there's um, there's just different things involved and that was the main problem I had was I had employees who uh, I had caught on camera stealing things and they wouldn't stop no matter how many times um, I would tell them, hey, you need to stop this. Uh, but they would never stop. And that was very, very disturbing in my opinion that nothing I could do would stop. I mean, but that's the same with Walmart. Um, once people... Again, people only, for, for the one time someone gets caught, they probably have stolen thousands of times before in their life because people just generally trust you. And um, if I trust you, I'm not expecting you to steal from me. So that was one of the big things that I had not calculated when I opened my store was that there would be missing, missing merchandise from both um, the customer end as well as obviously the um, employee end. 
it sucks, but it is what it is. Um, I don't think it's um, a... I think, in my opinion, that this is pretty common. And as Magic cards get more and more and more expensive, they will be just... I mean, people will steal more because there's more profit. Why would they not? If they're going to steal at um, the cost of let's say $40 a pack, or let's say they're going to steal $40 worth of magic cards, but now they can just steal one single pack for a hundred dollars. Why wouldn't they just steal the single pack for a hundred dollars? Or, I mean, they, they could steal a lot more, right? So that's what's happening right now. It is a very terrible time in my opinion to own any retail store. And that's the uh, funny part too is uh, in the current climate of COVID, people are going to steal. Bye, guys.